Good morning. All right. I have a challenge for you. Before I get into that, last night I was, before I went to bed, I was looking up on how to journal, um, which I'll talk about later once I do it a little bit more. Um, but I stumbled on this video from Simon Sinek, who um, is awesome guy like I've read a bunch of his books um, start with why and leaders eat last he's just phenomenal um, speaker and presenter and this particular video was actually one that went viral a while back you know talking about Millennials and you know what what it is that Millennials want and problems that people are saying Millennials have and things of that nature but one of the things that caught my attention was he was talking about you know, technology and addiction to technology and how it's similar to gambling and alcohol where when you get a text or, you know, you get a notification that there's a release of dopamine, except the difference is when, you know, alcohol, you need to be 21 or, you know, depending on where you live. Um, and also gambling, you know, you have to be of certain age. So, you know, but with a cell phone, you just get it as a kid. I mean, kids have cell phones so early nowadays. I mean, I didn't, I didn't get mine until ninth grade. Um, but it, you know, you just have this addiction where you're constantly on it. And a lot, a big part of it is definitely, you know, social media. And and I'm subject to it. I'm, you know, that's why I'm making this video because I wanted to talk about this challenge where in the morning, okay, and I did it this morning for exactly an hour because right now it is 7.30 and I woke up at 6.30 so it was a full hour. First thing in the morning, I did not even look at my phone. I turned off my alarm, which, you know, was my phone. All right, we're gonna let that slide, all right. And then that was it. I did not look at it again. I didn't take it to the bathroom. Um, I didn't have it even on me when I was eating breakfast this morning. I just made a conscious effort to not take my phone out, to not look at it, and it was interesting. It was very interesting. It was it was hard at first, you know. It was weird because I I very habited to, you know, taking my phone to check social media to you know post something, and so without that, it was weird. You know, I was adjusting to that and I was noticing it which I think was a valuable part of it where kind of seeing what it is, you know, when I'm looking at it. Um, but what I'd like you to do and what I tried to do during this hour was really think about a few things when you're not on your phone. One is just being grateful. That's something that I try and do every single day. One of the parts I mentioned journaling, um, it's, you know, the first thing you do in the morning is what are you grateful for? Um, to this morning, I just said my friends and family. Now, that being said, I think that that's just something that we really should try and do on a regular basis. So when you're in this quiet time, you'll notice it's very quiet to just be grateful. And, and the second thing is just think about where it is that you want to go. I find that when we tend to go into our social media or go to our phone, you know, it's that entertainment where you're, you're taking your mind elsewhere where I want you to use this hour to really just think about, um, you know, where it is that you want to go and really have that thought of your brain where you're, or something's not just like coming at you and you're really taking time to reflect on, you know, what it is in your life of where you want to go, what your goals are. And, and, and again, being grateful. So it was a very interesting experiment and I really hope that you consider trying it. Uh, so Give it a shot and uh, let me know how it goes for you. All right. Have an awesome day.